How is it going guys and welcome back to the adventure. Today we are back with Yaz and we're heading back to the Etihad Stadium for the start of our League Cup defence against Wickham Wanderers. So we are looking to win the Carabao Cup for the fifth year in a row, honestly. Imagine if we win it five years in a row, that will be insane. Uh, I know it's obviously not the most intriguing game between Wickham today, but I'm sure it's going to be an amazing day out for their fans and they're going to have a great experience coming to the home of the EFL Cup champions. And yeah, it's a great one for us tonight. Hopefully we can see some goals and uh, yeah, let's get inside, ready for tonight's game. You excited? So excited. Let's go. Okay, we are here at the Etihad Stadium. Starting 11s already. Let's start with City. Zach Steffen is a goal. Centre backs Burns and Imbeti make their debuts for City. Two new fullbacks making their debuts for City as well. Wilson, Ezran, and Egan Riley making their debuts, as well as Lavia in the midfield for City today. So a lot of youngsters at the back, but going forward, we've got some more experience. Kevin De Bruyne, Riyad Mahrez, Veron Torres, and Raheem Sterling. He needs a good game today, Sterling, after his poor performance of the weekend. He's been under a lot of criticism, especially on social media uh, for his lack of performances so he needs a good game today and today's a good game for him to get two or three goals okay Wickham starting 11 I'm really really sorry Wickham fans I do not know any of your players except the one the beast Adebayo Akin Benoit one of the one of the most genuine guys he's so funny on Soccer AM he is playing the big beast is up front for the chair boys and yeah teams are done it's time to get into the game and see if we can retain the Carabao Cup for the fifth year in a row let's go Okay, we are 15 minutes in and City starting to take command of the game. It was a bit of a slow five to seven minutes. Wickham actually had a chance. I can feel more headed it out. One of their players headed it towards goal. Uh, the whistle had already gone, but Stefan made a good save there. Uh, but City are starting to create a few chances. Sterling needs to perform a little bit better than he did at the weekend. He's getting a few opportunities on the left. Uh, his heavy dribble uh, had a good City chance turn into nothing. Torres just had a header on target there. Uh, but we're getting closer. Good opening 15. Let's keep it going. supposed to happen for a city perspective i mean we were saying before the corner there'd be absolute limbs in the away end if wickham scored and they scored off that exact same set piece and uh, brandon hamler has uh, given the chair boys the lead well fair play to them and they're in full voice i mean their support has been exceptional from the start and now they've got the goal Kevin De Bruyne can do, he gets the ball, 
He gets it on his right foot and he puts it in that bottom corner. 1-1. One, one. Brilliant, brilliant work from Phil Foden as well on that goal. And Kevin, brilliant finish. What a goal. Great goal. 1-1. One, one. He dibble dabbled away and managed to get that cross in and there's Riyad Mahrez to sweep in number two. We love that. Brilliant work from the young lad on the left hand side. 2-1 City. Big, big goal. from Phil Foden. I only just caught the end of that, but flipping out, what a finish. 3-1, what a goal. Yeah, that was a good goal, that, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Unreal, what a player. So it is half time at the Etihad Stadium and City lead by three goals to one. I mean, the game didn't start well for the first eight minutes. It was kind of a mixed game. Wickham having a bit of possession, City having a bit of possession, never really caused any problems. And then Wickham actually took the lead on the 16th minute. I mean, it was completely unexpected. It came off a set piece, but uh, yeah, fair play to the Wickham. Uh, fair play to the Wickham fans as well for making the trip off. And there was absolute limbs in the away and when that goal went in. It was uh, pretty incredible. And the response is what City did. And a response is what we got. Brilliant work from Phil Foden in the middle. Pulled it out to Kevin De Bruyne, who's low finesse shot. Hit the bottom right corner of the net to make him 1-1. One, one. It was brilliant work from Phil Foden in the middle of the park. He got away from about three or four players to get the ball out to Kevin. Wonderful work from the young Englishman. And City then would take the lead. Brilliant work from the young lad, Wilson Esbrand, on the left-hand side. He dazzled away from a couple of players. Uh, faked to put the cross in and then eventually pulled the cross in with his left foot. And it was smashed into the net by Riyad to give City the lead and it would be three just before half time all in the work of Phil Foden Riyad Morris's corner finally a short corner word and Phil Foden would hit a rocket past the Wickham goalkeeper to make it 3-1 it's been a relatively good half for City but only after Wickham took the lead uh, Wickham were brilliant in the first eight minutes they really didn't allow City to make any chances at all. Uh, they, City were, for, they were forced into mistakes and uh, Wickham obviously got the goal from the set piece uh, and sent the away and into delirium. City since then replied like the Carabao Cup holders should do and have hit three goals just for half time. So it's a positive first half after a negative start. So yeah, it's a good first half for City and uh, yeah, let's cross into the second half and uh, hopefully we can head to the next round of the Carabao Cup. Come on City. Come on, City. Oh! Beast. Look at him. What a beast. Oh, and he nearly scored. but Akin Benoit's just had a, a nice reception from both the Wicked fans and the City fans going off. He is a beast, isn't he? An absolute beast. It's still 3-1 and, uh, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> oh! Yes, it's 4-1. What did you just say? I said there's 
half was really boring. Yeah, and about 10 seconds later, what happened? <laughs> Always away, isn't it? Good run from Bowden, great ball across, and uh, Murad Torres puts it in for four. Love that. Very boring. Sterling still got to wait for his goal. in two home games for you. Wow, <laughs> it is five. Riyad Mahrez has scored. Brilliant ball by Kevin De Bruyne. Sterling's done really, really well. Got to the byline, pulled it back in, uh, and Riyad Mahrez is there. Kiss off the post to make it five. We love that, it's five. Give him a present. Paul Palmer's just come off the bench and scores a wonderful goal. Vanessa it with his left foot. Brilliant, brilliant finish. Oh. Okay, so it's full time at the Etihad Stadium and it's finished 6-1 to City. Another six goals for Yaz. She's been twice. 12 goals, absolutely unreal. I mean, the game didn't start too well either. Wickham took the lead in the 15th minute and uh, there was just shock around the Etihad. No one could believe it. Uh, delirium in the, way, uh, in the away end. Also, fair play to the Wickham lot. It's a long way to come on a Tuesday night and uh, the team and the fans did the, uh, did the club really proud tonight. But yeah, we got that response that we needed. Phil Foden got away from about four players in the midfield. Kevin De Bruyne fired low into the right corner to get us level. Riyad Mahrez gave us the lead uh, just before half-time and Phil Foden scored a rocket from a Mahrez corner to make it three. And another three goals in the second half. Goals by Torres, Riyad Mahrez and Cole Palmer getting his first City goal. Brilliant for him. I mean, a great performance all round. And uh, yeah, let's take that into the next round in a month's time. Very, very happy going into a tough week as well. It was important that we got the goals today. <laughs> And that is going to bring an end to today's vlog. Uh, another six goal performance from City. A fantastic day. If you have enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like. Hit that big red subscribe button down below to join my football adventure. And me and Yaz will be back for another video real, real soon. Peace out from the Etihad.